Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a haul. Um this is like a huge collective haul, like literally some of this stuff I bought like months and months ago. But I thought that I would show you them in a haul because I was like kind of struggling for video ideas and I thought I would film this. Also, I'd like to apologise for the fact that I haven't uploaded like a video in like two weeks because I have actually filmed this before but I forgot to like take a thumbnail. So I just deleted it and plus I wasn't happy with the video anyway. I'm going to get started. So the other day I was shopping at the Trafford Centre um, and I realised that I'd like ran out of my Lancome face wash. So I decided to pick up one of the Lizzo cleansing polishes and um, because I've heard like so many good things about it and um, but this is the cleansing polish like I said and this is the what's this called this is like the starter kit beginner starter kit um, and it just comes in a little bag like this which says Lizzo and I will insert over Lizzo and all the things and then you get a 100 milliliter um, cleansing polish but then you also get two of the muslin cloths um, I've only got one here because one of them is drying on the radiator in the bathroom because I did use it yesterday and I loved it. It made my skin feel like so like clean. Um, so yeah, this is the 100 milliliter one. Hopefully this will last me like as long as possible. I am gonna like be really stingy with this and only use a tiny bit because I want this to last me for so long. Go pick this up. I will let you know how I get on with it. The next thing that I literally got ages ago, I got this at like the start of December. Nivea Men Sensitive Pro Shave Balm. I've been using this like every day like since I got it, or pretty much every day. And, and I'm not too sure how I feel about it, that like, it does keep my makeup on for longer, but it doesn't keep it on all day. Like my makeup still does come off like pretty much here. In school, like my makeup like completely comes off and it's so annoying. I'm not sure if that's like this not working or whatever. Um, but if you don't know about this, this has got like glycerin or something in it and then it like makes your makeup stick to it. So I will let you know how I got on with this and this, when I got this, it was on offer in Boots for like £3. But like I said, like, that was at the start of December. So the first thing I've got is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is the best concealer I have ever tried. I prefer this over my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Oh god, this literally like makes my under eye circles look like really nice I and mean, it makes my skin look so like I don't know like flawless and like satiny and I just love it it blends out so easily mine is in the shade fair neutral um which is the lighter shade and this is so good for highlighting for me like this is the only concealer I found which is light enough to highlight for my skin tone so if you're pale like me then go pick up this because it is so good for highlighting today I do not actually have foundation on I just have this underneath my eyes on my nose on my forehead and on my chin and then a bit here um and it I think it my skin looks pretty good today recently I've been really really getting into the balm products and for Christmas I did get the Mary Luminizer highlighter and that is my favorite highlighter of all time I have it on my face right now I'm not sure if you can see it and it's oh it's so intense and nice and I just love it so much um but I decided to pick up one of their blushes because I've literally wanted to try one for like years and I've never got the chance to pick one up and I decided to get Cabana Boy the packaging for this is so cute like the packaging for all of the blushes are so cute like just the balm packaging is amazing in general and this is basically just like this looks so scary but it looks so nice on the cheeks I don't have it on today in fact I don't have any blusher on today but it's such a nice blusher but with mine like I realized when I filmed the video the first time look my pan has come out and it's meant to be like stuck on the bottom so um that's kind of annoying this isn't actually just a blusher it's an eyeshadow as well so if you'd like to see like a makeup tutorial of me like using this on my eyes and on my cheeks then let me know so the naked skin concealer is like 17.50 and in this blush it was 15 pound 50 so love it highly recommend it i recently picked up another blusher as well and this is from nars literally like you know when you have that like one product and you've literally wanted it for years but you never pick it up this is that product for me and this is my favourite blusher of all time. I love it. I'm so sad that I didn't pick it up sooner because I am obsessed with this. This is the blusher in the shade Madly and ever since I saw Kathleen Lights raving about this, I wanted it since then. It's such a nice blusher. It looks like so boring in the pan but honestly on the cheeks it's just so amazing. Like it's such like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a natural peachy flush 
I just love it. It looks amazing on every single skin cone. Skin cone. Yeah, that makes so much sense. But I love this so much. Definitely pick it up. And this was about £23, I think. So really pricey for a blush, but definitely worth it in my opinion. Another thing that I've got from NARS, I'm so glad I bought this. Like, literally, if I didn't buy this, well, I wouldn't know how good it is, but so I wouldn't really be that affected. But I'm so glad I did because this is my favourite eyeshadow palette in the world. This is the Isold, Isold, Isolde, I don't know. But this is basically a gold and a bronze, and these are the most pigmented eyeshadows I own. These are more pigmented than MAC eyeshadows. This duo was £25, and I think one of the eyeshadows is 18 so you're basically getting one for like seven quid, which is so amazing, literally. These are quite, this is quite a pricey eyeshadow duo, but to me, it's worth every single... I love this so much, literally, I am definitely going to hit pan on this and I'm definitely going to repurchase this when I run out because it's my favourite eyeshadow palette in the whole world. Go pick it up, it's amazing and if you don't own any NARS eyeshadows then seriously, go buy some. So for Christmas, off my Auntie Annette and Uncle Pat, they got me a M&S gift voucher and if you didn't know, some M&S's do stock Stila products. So I thought I'll use it to get a Stila eyeshadow palette and I decided to get the Eyes Are The Window eyeshadow palette in spirit. Literally, can we just look at the packaging? Like you can see the camera because it's reflective. There we go, that's probably the best like representation of it. It's basically copper and then it has three gold S's and then Stila written on it. The packaging is so amazing, I love it. Like I said before, this is in the shade Spirit and can we just like, oh, can we take a minute to appreciate this? I haven't actually used this eyeshadow palette, like I haven't played around with it very much. Um, I have used Kitten though and it is so pretty, it's so like pigmented as well. And then I have used the shade Jezebel, which is this like peachy um, shimmery one in the middle. I love this eyeshadow palette so much and I've hardly even used it. The eyeshadows are so pigmented and creamy, like literally I've just like rubbed my finger in that a tiny bit and it's so pigmented. Can we cope with the mirror on this? Look at the size of it, like with most eyeshadow palettes like it's just a tiny little mirror in the middle but this is so big, like literally this fits my entire face in it so easily. Oh my god my lipstick is so bad today. This was £30 which is quite expensive for an eyeshadow palette but it's £2.50 each for each eyeshadow so pick this up, it's amazing, I love it. I just realised I've been looking at myself for the entire video. I've not even been looking at the camera for the entire video. I'm very sorry about that, I will look at the camera for the rest of the video, I've just been looking at myself because I completely forgot that it's a viewfinder not like a phone reflection. That is so annoying, why did I do that? Okay, I'm going to look into the camera, it feels more awkward looking into the camera. Okay, um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Okay, so recently I've been buying so many lip products. I'm gonna start off with two that I got for Christmas, but I didn't show my what I got for Christmas because I own I got them like at the start of January. And these are off my Auntie Roisin and Uncle Harry. And literally, like they got me a pair of white Converse and I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. Thank you so much. I was not expecting them. And hidden inside of each shoe, there were two Charlotte Tilbury lip products. I screamed, I nearly cried. And this is the Lip Cheat um, lip pencil and in this is in the shade Savage Rose. This is basically just like a really pretty traditional red. I haven't actually had the chance to like use this yet because I haven't been wearing reds as, as much recently but I think like when I go out using this it's gonna be a complete game changer. I'm gonna be back hooked on my red. They then got me one of the Charlotte Tilbury lip glosses. This is in the shade Unleash Me and look at this packaging. It's like rose gold and then because the lip product is like a burgundy shade, it's like rose gold and burgundy. It's so pretty. I love this so much. Like I've put this on my lips before and it's like it's been sat in my room and it feels so nice. Like they're not that sticky and I feel like they'd be quite long wearing. Um, I'm just so happy that they got me these. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Like I literally was not expecting them. Like when I got, when I realised that they were like in there, because I only noticed one of them at first, and I was like, oh my god, like thank you so much. Like that's so much. Like you didn't need to get me like anything. I would have just been happy with a card. And literally, like two Charlotte Tilbury products and a pair of Converse. Like they hooked me up. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. But I have got three lipsticks from MAC recently and I'm going to start off with the ones that I got first. So this is Velvet Teddy. Um, literally I've wanted this for ages and I 
Okay, I got this at the start of December. And this is how much I've used already. I use this every single day without fail with Will Lip Liner. Uh, it's just amazing. My teeth look really yellow in this video. I don't like it. This was £15.50 like all my lipsticks are. And it's so amazing. I love this lipstick. It lasts so long on the lips. But I've used so much. Like literally. Let's compare it to this lipstick. And I've used this lipstick a lot as well. But look. Th that's in a month. The other lipstick I bought is Whirl. This is what I have on my lips right now. Um, Whirl was just a lip liner to start with, but it's literally like Mac's most popular lip liner. So they decided to bring it out in a lipstick. And this is basically just like more intense than the lip liner. This is more of like a dark brown nude. I love it so much. It's so pigmented. And Velvet Ted, all the lipsticks that I got from MAC are matte finishes, so they are quite drying. And my lips have definitely been paying for that. But I love this lipstick so much. This is my favourite lipstick of all time at the moment. Like, I prefer the same for Velvet Teddy, but I prefer Velvet Teddy for more everyday use. And then the most recent lipstick I got, I literally got this the other day. This is. <laughs> Look how exciting this is. This is the Viva Glam Ariana Grande, because in case you didn't know, um, Ariana Grande is the new like Viva Glam girl for MAC. Um, this doesn't actually have a shade besides v Viva Glam Ariana Grande and this is a matte finish. Um, and look, it's like red. I do prefer like the original like silver but I do quite like it for like a limited, it's not limited edition, like it'll be out for like a year until they get the next Viva Glam girl next year. And if you didn't know, like all of the money that is like raised from like buying these like the full £15.50 for the lipstick goes towards like the MAC AIDS fund I don't properly know which way if you want to know more then definitely google it but I do think it's so good how like you get like an amazing lipstick but all the money goes to like a good cause and it's not just basically a way of making celebrities richer this is such a pretty lipstick I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this just because this lipstick is very out of my comfort zone and there's a hair on it because this lipstick is very out of my comfort zone, I do love the shade of it, but it's just not kind of the shade that I would wear every day. And the main reason I wanted to get this is because I love Ariana Grande and I just wanted to have the lipstick that she made with MAC. Um, I will include like swatches of it because obviously like just holding it up like this it does just look like a black lipstick. Okay so that's everything that I have got recently. Um, it's quite a lot of stuff. Um, so this haul is probably quite long, I'm very sorry about that. But I hope you guys did enjoy it anyway. If you did then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below for more videos from me. Also this has nothing to do with the haul and like you're probably not interested. But I realised when I was eating tea today that I'm going to see Marina and the Diamonds in like two weeks. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you look forward to the Moon and the Diamonds vlog because I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I'll see you in my next video.